Look at him just freaking casually making his way downtown. Walking fast. Putting Crash on blast. That's what I was about to do. That's what I was about to do in that last episode that you guys saw. I was so mad. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, we're, we're playing Crash still. Diving back in. I've managed to recover from my conniption that I suffered on Cold Hard Crash. More like Cold Hard Smash the controller. Um, I think my... Uh, the, that previous episode's been edited by this point, obviously. And the controller throws and controller drops and all that stuff. That is real. That's that's not me being silly. That's I actually did get that frustrated, guys. Wow. I got that frustrated. I got frustrated, mate. Oh, let me tell you something. Slap some blooming onions and some shrimp on your ball, boy. And the most. <laughs> hey, kangaroo in the wall, boy. Hey, don't you know? Is that racist? I mean, it's Australians. I hope not. If I have any Australian watchers, I I, I totally and deeply apologize, but... Your accents are funny. You know it. I know it. Every, every, everyone knows it. Everyone. That's a uh, Donald Trump reference. I've got, I've got the references. But uh, yeah, we're back. Much better times, right? Much, much much happier times hopefully uh, we are in one of my favorite levels in the game the jetpack levels I love these things when I was little I feel like I feel like they're a little different now that I'm an adult they don't seem to handle as well as I remember although a lot of people give the original game crap for these levels saying that oh they handle horribly I don't I never thought they did I always thought they were pretty good. But I do know that one of these is very, very troll-like. Meaning that one of these jetpack levels, there's like one box that you can miss. I don't remember where it is. Yeah, the... Griffin, aren't you the expert? No. I'm not the premier Crash Bandicoot expert. I'm just someone who knows the games pretty well. Get through there. There we go. Shoot that gap. Speaking of shooting that gap, y'all know football's back. Hey, don't <laughs> freaking miss the crystal. Football's back. I'm very excited for that. My uh, One of my teams won today already. Let's go Tennessee Titans. Wow, that was way easy. That's a, that's a good place to pick up at, right? Making it nice and easy. Yeah, and we got a box gem. Woohoo! Sorry for blowing out your eardrums there. Am I though? Am I actually sorry? I don't know. Friendly fireflies, you mean the Owl City kind? Uh I always hated that song. I just thought it was weird. I won't say I absolutely hate it, but it's just It was a weird song. I didn't understand why it was so popular. It's very simple, basic, but as as always, that's that's just my opinion. I'm not the, I'm not the expert. I don't know everything about music. Oh hello. Oh, what's this? Woohoo! Okay. So I actually don't remember this level too well. Ooh, that was good. That was good. I saw an enemy went kamikaze and killed another one at its own expense. Ta-da. But, uh, I love I'm really picky when it comes to music. But I listen to all kinds of music. That's the funny part. And I mean all kinds of music. I'm not really, you know, like, I won't say no to any one genre, pretty much. Oh, jeez. All right, this is going to be fun. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Hey, you know what? This might be possible. Let's do this quickly. All right. 
Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh no, come back, come back, come back! I did it. I kept my cool. I didn't lose my cool, guys. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Even though it's in the dark. <laughs> it's in the dark. I'm afraid of the dark. Are you going to stay with me? Are you my buddy? Come here, buddy. Oh. <laughs> you know, Griffin, maybe you should focus on just beating the level instead of making a funny joke. <laughs> funny joke. Funny man. Is that... Is that a deranged Homer Simpson? Merge. Merge. Bert. Bert Simpson. How kill you, son? I need to strangle my son. That's my only joke anymore. We've been on the air far too long. That's true. I've never watched an episode of The Simpsons. Mm. That was so beautiful, Griffin. You should do that right. Hey! It looks like a face looking at me. You see that? Anybody else see that? You know, somebody once told me. <sighs> the world was gonna row me. I almost sounded like that uh, theater, that trailer voice that you always hear, like... <clears throat> This summer, this summer, one man will attempt to complete the Crash Bandicoot entry, insane trilogy, and he will also mess up when he's trying to do a voice. Gryffindor, rated R, coming to theaters Friday. <laughs> yeah, that one. It's all. It always sounds like it's the same voice, and I feel like it is. I feel like it's the same guy, you know, it's like he comes into work, let's say his name's Jeff, Jeff comes into work and, you know, his producer's there and he's like, all right, Jeff, I got a great angle for you, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna do your voice thing, it's great, it, you know, it pays the bills or whatever, but I'm gonna need you to put a little bit of pizzazz on your voice today, and Jeff has like, like his normal voice is something completely different than the one he usually uses, and it's like, um, sir, shouldn't I just, uh, sh you know, shouldn't I go with the one that that works oh i'm gonna get whoa oh Mi mission impossible miss right there dang dun 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 but um yeah it's like he does he comes into work and his producer tries to spice things up for him a little bit but never really can because you know that's what he's hired to do and he just comes in every day and does a bunch of different trailers like, he'll do the Spongebob movie, the It film, and um, Star Wars all in the same day. Or something like that. I feel like that'd be a really fun job, but you'd know what the movies are about, and you wouldn't even want to watch the trailers. And what's what's on your what's on your clip reel? I mean, if you're trying to, like, get a job in voice acting or anything like that, what do you, what do you put on your demo? Your tape? Do you just... Do you just have the trailer voices and that's it? So yeah, uh, thank thanks for coming in, Jeff. We we really thank you for your time, and we, you know we wanted to, we wanted you to go over your uh, your tape with us. Just just see how it was, man. What you got? What you, what you can bring to the table? And he and he's like, oh yeah, let, let's let's look real quick. And then it's just all of those trailer voices for like twenty different movies. And then the casting crew was like, um, you know, that, that voice is great, but do you, do you have, do you have any, do you have anything else? And he's just like, what, what do you mean? Well, I mean, it's just that, uh, you know, you do that voice pretty frequently. And he's like, oh, but in that drama film, there was a lot, you know, I, I my voice went a lot deeper. There was a lot more inflection on my tones. And I rolled my R's a little bit. And they're just like, yeah, J Jeff, you know, we can't, we, Jeff, we can't, we can't do this, man. Okay, we need, we need somebody that can bro broaden their skills a little bit more. And then Jeff goes home to his loving wife and children, and they ask him about it, and he just goes to sleep, curled up with a bottle of Jack Daniels. We doing work, son. 
Ball out butt. <laughs> Funny joke. Uh, crude humor. <laughs> Oh, well, Jeff, was that his name? I already forgot the name of the voice actor guy from the trailers. But we're going to cut the episode here. We're almost done, guys. We are almost done. There's going to be one more. Yeah, one more episode for sure after this one. Uh, possibly two. I'm going to go look real quick at uh, how many how many gems I'm missing. Uh, and then I'll update y'all later. But, as always... Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. I love doing this and I hope you guys love it. As always, I hope you enjoy. Mm. Pull out butt. <laughs>